happy valentine's day what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's been a minute i know your girl is finally getting back into the groove of things and today we're going to be recreating this image right here tweaking it a little bit and we're going to be doing it on extra 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 long press-ons like i said it's been a long time coming and evidently i missed january so i wanted to make sure that i started my channel back off i guess with something for valentine's day you send with a little love or whatever my friend esther is the one who picked winnie the pooh so <laughs> dedicated to her or whatever for valentine's day and i wanted to do something that wasn't necessarily pink so that's where this yellow came from it's really pretty though this pastel color love it all the details of course will be in the description below but um yeah google image search for something with winnie the pooh in it and i think i typed in valentine's day and i got the image that i sent you guys previously showed you guys previously excuse me so when i'm doing hand painted art and it is not on an actual individual be it they're like short cute manny or you know their extensions i'll i won't base coat if it's on a person like a client then of course i'll base coat but um when i'm doing nails on press-ons i don't ever feel the need to for me personally when I'm working on a client you know when you're like buffing and everything after you finish filed sometimes there are like these really little tiny fine lines that we can't really see like from a microscopic kind of point of view and um when you go to draw like on your canvas you can see them you know like the polish will kind of run so that is why i'll base coat on a client but you know this is press on don't really need to do that all right done rambling so i mixed my color i added a little pastel to um i believe valentino gel polish 081 which is this beautiful mustard color and that's the color we're going to use for winnie the pooh because it's one big like i guess collage of different winnie the poohs featuring piglet and some hearts and stuff um i kind of picked my own placement for where i wanted winnie the pooh to be on each individual nail like i said this is for reference it wasn't supposed to be like exact so i mean and that's fine how i operate on a regular basis anyway when clients bring me you know picks for inspo i'll pull things for them from them so that people can have their you know own set you know so that they're not walking around looking exactly like the next person i want each set to be you know different and unique in its own way but i mean that's neither here nor there for this or so just a little side note but anywho So y'all, I do want to mention that for this particular video, I decided to try something different um, when it comes to how I'm starting, I guess, th these different pieces off. Um, most of the time, I'll start with the general outline of everything. But because this photo was just like everything was so small and, you know, tiny and there, it's not too detailed, you know, there isn't a lot of shading, if any. Um, I decided to do things by color so every single thing that is going to be drawn in this mustard color so every little piece of um, Winnie the Pooh that I'm putting on it all five of these nails I'm going to draw those parts first and I'm also going to cure them now anytime that I hand paint I cure when I'm comfortable so if i'm gonna do like let's say eyeballs or something which or eyelashes and even eyebrows which i personally find difficult because you know you got to have such a fine line when i do those like per eyebrow and even sometimes like per lash um i'll cure and i'll cure and that's the beauty of working with gel polish right over regular polish i'll cure when i'm happy and satisfied with something and i don't want to take the chance and risk it like messing up so cure when you're comfortable guys cure you can cure between every little detail if you want to as long as you know it doesn't mess up do we really care how often we're doing this and you can also flash cure so it doesn't have to be a full cure i use an led light um so like maybe like 
10 seconds. Sometimes I'll do 20. But if it's black or red, I'll do a full cure. Sometimes I feel like um, things wrinkle and we, we hate that. In the end, this little guy will be surrounded by love. Here's one of those moments I was just referencing. I'm gonna go ahead and cure. And while those two are curing, even though they're all on the stand, I'm gonna take one nail off and continue doing what I'm doing. So when hand painting like this, I recommend that you load your brush and fill it with whatever color that you're using. That way you don't have to keep going back and dipping after you do like just little small areas and um, you can kind of like spread the color around into the areas that you need a lot easier that way. For this Pooh Bear on this nail, it's still from the same image, but I flipped it so that it would be, I guess, backwards, you know, facing a different direction. One of the things that I do sometimes, again, like I said, to kind of make images mine, quote unquote, <laughs> Disney, don't sue me. You know what I mean. All right, so this last one here, um, Jesus Christ, I was zoomed in entirely too much. Anyway, this last one here would be the Pooh Bear that we saw in like the little life, lifeboat, floaty device, flotation device. There we go. I know there's a name, donut, the little donut, the cute little donut. That's what this, um, this nail is going to be. All right, so now that I'm ready to move on to the next color, we're gonna cure those fully before we move on. I'm gonna take the red, evidently for his shirt, and fill in the spaces, um, basically for his shirt, on every nail. So that's why I said I'm doing something different this time and doing it color by color. One more time, people, this isn't the method that I typically use, but I mean, for Winnie the Pooh, I mean, he doesn't wear pants, you know where the shirt goes, so it's pretty easy to be able to gauge where um, the red would go and just kind of leave space when I was using the mustard yellow um, for the, in room for the shirt.
from the first time I saw ya You were not like the others A cool kind of melody so as I sit here doing these voiceovers, I'm looking at this particular nail and this one would have been perfect to add some honey because what is Winnie the Pooh without his honey? But I mean, clearly I dropped the ball, but and they're still going to be fire. But like, doesn't it look like he should be holding like a pot and honey's on his hand and it's going towards his mouth? I have a vivid imagination. Excuse me. If y'all don't see it. Just, just ignore me, but I, I definitely, I definitely dropped the ball a little bit, but that's okay. With you, there are no stop signs, counting down till we take flight. It's how you make me feel Yeah, yeah Let's call in sick and be lazy I'm all for doing what's crazy Cause you make it real, yeah You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah last one done and because we're going to move on to another color i'm going to go ahead and cure that fully and i decided to add in like a peekaboo piglet because what is winnie the pooh without his bestie okay a piglet is in the photo that i showed you guys in the beginning but initially for me this was just going to be strictly about like winnie the pooh but i had to add i had to add my little guy especially because it's pink and pink is my favorite color so we're gonna start off with the lightest pink and just do like his arms and his head and his legs. There isn't gonna be piglet on every nail. I decided on two. And again, it's still same piglets from the reference photo. Second piglet is going to be, again, same image with the one where him and Pooh are hugging the heart. I just took Pooh out of it. And you know, I'm just drawing a little bit of my guy on that one. I will say that I wish I planned where I was going to put him a lot better and that way later on you'd be able to see Piglet a little bit more but I mean I'm still happy with him and my guy is still as cute as a button so I've cured and now I'm going to use the darker pink for Piglet's body and his ears nose and a little bit of the mouth that you can see
it's moments like this where I am adding in such tiny and small detail that like I'm really proud of myself because never in a million years did I think I'd be drawing <laughs> Winnie the Pooh and Piglet on such a small canvas like on nails what absolutely not I have always been able to draw but it was always on you know paper and on occasional canvases never like this so this I don't know sometimes I'm still very surprised by the things that um I've accomplished and I remind myself that I get to celebrate me sometimes you know especially because woo child I've come such a long way so again I, it's okay for me to be proud of myself same goes for you guys whether you're a nail tech and you're wherever you may be in your nail journey or just wherever you are in life you should celebrate you and your accomplishments don't always have to be the big ones celebrate the small ones too okay you deserve you deserve that give yourself a pat on the back sorry i had to add some additional positivity in there i'm gonna stop myself from preaching right now i'm going on a, off on a tangent All right, moving on from our dear, dear piglet, I'm gonna add a really tiny detail that some of you guys may not have noticed, which is like Winnie the Pooh has these cute little like blushing cheeks. So I'm gonna add them on all the Winnie the Poohs we got going on. This here is the last one. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that before moving on to outlining Piglet. So I noticed something as I begin to, I guess, do characters in general. Um, once I actually started drawing on um, nails like this and um, it's very small. It's something a lot of people don't catch. But if you ever look at different, not even just Disney, but we use Disney characters as a reference. If you ever do like Snow White or Alice in Wonderland or Tiana and whatever it is you drawing, um, a lot of the times their outline isn't black. I know black for outlining is a go-to, but pay attention to the fact that like, we'll use Alice in Wonderland for reference. Um, so her hair is yellow it's blonde so her outline is like a darker yellow color and when you get down to her dress i believe it's like blue and then you know so on and so forth as you go go down from head to toe um so piglet in the image that we're using isn't outlined in black like i said black is everybody's go-to it's like an off pinky brownish color mauve oh we'll go with mauve it's like a little mauve color so that's what i mixed i made a mauve color um and i'm outlining him and doing all the detail for piglet in this color so not black and you want to kind of stay away from black unless that's what's in the photo the reference photo that you're using because sometimes it can drown out your image and make everything look really like harsh and depending on the background color for your canvas sometimes dirty so that's just an additional random fun fact or not a not fact but tip a random tip there you go
So details this tiny, I really take my time with, even though it may seem like I'm moving faster. Oh, oh yeah, I'll mention now too that I did not speed up this video at all. But um, with tiny detail like this, I am, I'm definitely holding my breath. <laughs> For it's almost like, you know, unaliving myself as I'm holding on to my breath because I don't want to ruin any of the outlines. I feel like my hands kind of like shake a little bit. So same thing applies to poo as it did to um, Piglet. I'm not using black. I am using a brown color to outline um, Winnie the Pooh. else I recommend you guys do or in that I do a lot easier said than done of course is trying to make sure that the lines when you're outlining or doing any lines at all you know you want them to match the um like the thickness should be the same all the way across the board or whatever it is in the photo keep it there you know sometimes certain lines will get bigger some in certain areas and some will be smaller but mimic what it is that you're seeing so in that way that keeps your image a lot more spot on you know again guys keep your brushes loaded i may pick my brush up and go back to doing like small strokes in the same spot but i don't have to pick up any more product for a while and that keeps me in the groove of things personally i feel like if i stop or take a break then it's gonna throw me off and then i'm gonna get like super insecure and anxious about everything it's gonna mess up it's gonna mess up what i got going on so load your brush you can get get a lot more done it'll take your time though definitely take your time don't rush any of this um i don't rush when i'm doing it on press-ons and i don't rush when i'm doing any kind of hand painted art on my clients um you can book a lot of things through my booksy site you know you can book time for art um, you know, your full set, cut down, removal, all those things. But hand-painted art, um, I like to talk to people about it first, you know. And, you know, go over pricing, of course. But I like to do it, too, so that I can also make sure I've booked the correct time frame. I do not like to be rushed in any kind of capacity. So even if I'm not hand-painting, um, I don't do, I guess time limits restrictions i guess given to me by clients you know so i'm very um open with my clients i make sure i over communicate when it comes to everything that i'm going to do rushing if i rush i can't put my best work out there and i always want to put my best foot forward so when it comes to hand painting and you know just my craft in general Tell me what you want and I'll tell you how long it's going to take. So that way, if you know you need to be somewhere by 2 and I'm telling you, we're not going to finish your appointment till 1.30 and it's an hour away, it looks like you need to make another appointment, my dear, or pick another time. Um, because that leaves too, rushing leaves too much room for people to turn around and, you know, be upset later because you didn't get to put 
out the work that they were expecting from you you know what they saw on instagram or wherever your booking site may be so um yeah no i will tell you the time and we'll go over how long it is and evidently i always talk pricing because i don't like financial surprises but what you're not going to do is rush me you know and on top of that you know i'm an artist and i'm sensitive about my mm, you know you know what erica badu said or whatever So on this Winnie the Pooh here, you'll notice I left his ear open, but that's because there's going to be something there later that kind of covers it. So it doesn't make sense to, you know, draw in and finish that one off. I don't know about anybody else, but I know that personally there comes a time when I am hand painting where like I just become super insecure about what I'm doing. Like whatever I'm drawing doesn't look like the drawing. Like it does not it's not given what it's supposed to be giving at a certain point like there's not enough detail for it to look like it's supposed to look y'all i'll be so ready to throw in the towel sometimes i just thought i'd add that as a note because you know i know other people feel that way and it's just to let y'all know that y'all not alone y'all not alone you know but we get through it and at the end it's like ooh, did that okay did it Okay, so I did that thing that I told y'all I don't like to do, and I took a break when I was doing this. Really, I had um, a client. So I took my client, and I stopped on this one originally, and when I was doing the outlining, I was like, yo, my guy is missing a whole arm. It's fine. It's fine. I can evidently I have a reference photo, so I know where it's going to be. So when I outline, when I'm outlining him, I'll just leave some, you know, room for his arm and I'll add I'll add the other one in later. We all make mistakes sometimes and it's totally okay to go back and fix them.
people I know I mentioned it but this is just like where I paused for myself to leave myself a little note to you know go back and fill in that yellow for his arm all right so the closer I get to finishing the more excited that I get because like I said things are coming together now we get to add in the pink which I love it's my favorite color like I said um for all the hearts so you can see if you want to go back to look at the reference photo where we are. This is the one where Piglet and Pooh are hugging the heart. But I did something else with Pooh on this now. Um, and it's just it just looks like Piglet. So I just, you know, like I said, did my own thing. You know, tweaked the image a little bit to make it look how I wanted it to look. All right, so this heart is gonna be the biggest one. The rest of the nails are gonna have like a whole bunch of small ones here and there. Some are going to overlap, so if it ever looks like I'm making little blobs at any point during this, and you can't like see the vision, just just know when we outline, it'll make it'll make more sense. So if you like to take another peek at our reference photo, this guy here is in like a little floaty device. It's little, the donut. He's in a donut. We talked about this before. So before I go ahead and add the hearts, I'm going to draw the donut. And we're using this really cute pastel. It's like a mint blue. Might not translate on the camera in this lighting, but it's, it's mint blue. It's mint blue. Mint green? Mint green. Let's go with that. <laughs> it's actually Valentino gel polish color 032 so again I'll put all the other details in the description below but you know it's one of my favorite colors I don't know why I couldn't translate mint green but here we are here we are all right so this was the poo that I told you we were leaving that little space open for earlier and a reference photo moment you know where he's holding up like the little white bubble side whatever it has two hearts in it that's what this area is for going back we're going to give this Pooh Bear's floaty device with little dots. Gonna cure that and go into adding hearts to the rest of the nails. Other than this obviously being a Winnie the Pooh set or theme set or whatever you wanna call it, um, the hearts is what I wanted to use to kind of tie in all the nails together. Um, it isn't necessarily over the entire reference photo, but it's, you know, it's for Valentine's Day. So I wanted to make sure that I added them you know evenly so to speak amongst all the nails it's something that they'd all have um you know in common 
I guess more so as filler, you know, like how people get sleeves and they don't want like empty space. That's what I mean. Yeah, it's more of like a filler so that they'd all evenly have like the same amount of hearts, so to speak, or the same amount of nail the canvas it would be taken up. I don't know. Let me stop. I feel like I'm rambling at this point, but hopefully you understand what I'm saying. So we're gonna go ahead and outline all the hearts in red. Oh my God, y'all, I'm almost done. It looks so good already. The closer I get to finishing when I'm this far along, the question, the number one question is, am I gonna do shiny or matte? And that will stress me out. That'll keep me from top coating some press on for days, you know, trying to figure that out. Some stuff looks better. Some hand-drawn stuff, in my opinion, looks better matte than shiny, and you know, vice versa. So, um, I it, it took me it took me a minute to figure that out for these. Okay, I know you guys had the reference photo, like before, I said before, but adding the little you know red outline to the heart, especially at the bottom. This is what I meant earlier by I said he was gonna be floating in love or whatever, floating in a little sea of hearts super cute drowning in love and i know that's how some of y'all are gonna be um this valentine this valentine's day season and i love that for you guys i love love i'm a fan of it so for those of you who may be watching today whether you have a valentine day or not if you don't i'll be your valentine or whatever but you know enjoy valentine's day and if you don't have like i said a valentine make sure you love yourself shoot that's the most important thing okay period so fun fact, and here I am telling on myself, I forgot to outline that little piece of Piglet's arm. Who cares? Who knew? I care. Oh my God, shiny. They needed to be shiny. I'm so glad I went with shiny. And this is the finished product, guys. How cute are these? Thank you guys so much for watching. I plan to do a lot more of these in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy Valentine's Day.